Okay, so we've got a quick video here on a couple new products here from VFly. So I got the updated uh, Short Saver V2 here on the left, and these uh, products here on the right are called the Store Safe. I'll talk about these here a little bit later. First, let's talk about the uh, Short Saver version 2. So I did a video on the version 1, and a couple of the shortcomings that I mentioned in the video was that there were some solder pads here on the back that you had to bridge to change the um, current uh, setting and also the trip timer setting and now they've added some buttons to the board here that will let you do that uh, with some clicks instead of having to take the heat shrink off and do the solder bridges and just to show you the manual real quick and the specs um, for the most part it hasn't really changed a whole lot it's just that they have added some LEDs here and I'll show you what those are, as well as the buttons to um, change the settings. So, just get right into that. So, um, the settings buttons are going are gonna, to are these two here. This one here is also used as a power on off button. So, this might be useful if you're, uh, say, uh, binding a receiver, for example, and uh, you can plug in a quad, hold that bind button down, and then press this button here, short press it, and I'll turn this on. So. Plug in the battery here, you can use either the XT60 or XT30. And then we have a yellow light, which means that it's ready. Uh, there's no green light here, so it means just there's no power coming out of these leads. Press the power on off button, short press. And you get the green light, which means now this is producing power output here. And if you want to change the timer setting, uh, there's going to be a blue LED here. You short press this button here when it's on. It's 2 amps. When it's off, it's 1 amp. And that's what is right here so blue LED off one amp is the current threshold and then with the blue LED on it increases that current threshold to two amps so you might have maybe a device that might be drawing a little bit more power and tripping the um, smoke stopper uh, if you if that's the case then just hit this button here turn the blue light on and it'll increase the threshold to two amps should still be safe but you know you still want to be careful now if you want to change the uh, timer the trip timer setting here so this is yellow LED here and uh, basically there's three different settings for three different blinks. So you have basically a three millisecond short circuit. So if there's a short, it'll, if you have this timer set to three milliseconds, that's a one blink. It'll basically cut off the power within three milliseconds, which is pretty fast, but maybe there might be instances where you might need more time. So maybe so you may increase that to three blinks. The third setting is seven milliseconds. And then for the overcurrent protection, the uh, trip timer is 15, 20, and 30 milliseconds. So show you that really quick. So basically, you long press the power button, and it goes into this setting mode. So you see the yellow light's blinking once. It's in that uh, setting one. Press the button here, and it'll blink twice. Setting two. See, it's three times there. That's setting three. And then you go back to, you'll cycle back to one blink. That's setting one, so I, I would just leave it there. That's usually going to be good enough for most cases. And then you long press the button, and I'll save that setting. And that's the uh, trip timer setting. Now you can see here that it's currently off. Short press the button here. Got a green light. You have power coming out of here. So you can plug in a quad or something, and uh, you'll know if you're short or not. I'll just go ahead and let's turn it off. Let's plug in a quad here on the XT30. And let's say, you know, uh, there's no power going here right now. Let's say you want to bind this receiver, hold on the bind button here. You know, it's kind of tricky to like hold the battery and plug it in all that. We can hold the bind button down with one hand and then just short press this button. And then it turns the quad on, so it sends power out. Obviously, I don't have a short circuit here, so I can't demonstrate that. But yeah, um, this is a pretty cool feature. You can actually use that to bind receivers. If you have one of those receivers, we have to press the bind button. So then turn it off, just short press the button powers down the system. So much, much improved over the original uh, version one. If you happen to um, uh, have the version one, uh, you know, and weren't using the you know, timer settings and all that kind of stuff, this is probably not a big deal for you, but maybe the, the power on off button for the binding uh, may be uh, interesting for you. Now the other new product here is the store safe. And just have a manual here. And basically, uh, it's a device that will basically discharge your batteries to storage charge them uh, and it'll storage charge them to 3.85 volts 
has a little heat sink on here. It has some circuitry so it can sort of like intelligently figure out what kind of a battery it is. And so basically, based on the LEDs that are blinking or that are on, it'll know the battery type. And you don't have to figure that out. It'll figure out that for you, but it'll show you what the battery type is. It's 2S through 6S. So let's go ahead and plug in this. This is a 3S battery. So you have a, they have an XT60 version and an XT30 version. Then uh, you can plug in uh, the XT60 to this battery here. Go ahead and power this up. You can see some blinking. It's going to try and figure out what battery it is. So this battery here, it looks like it's already below storage charge. So it actually didn't do anything. So let's check that here. Yeah, we're below storage charge, so it actually didn't activate the storage charge function because it's below 3.85 volts. Let's find another battery. Anyway, so I found a, a 2S battery. It's at uh, about 4.1 volts per cell. And we'll get, this is an XT30. We'll go ahead and plug this in. Get some blinking lights. It blinks while it's trying to figure out what kind of battery it is. And now it's actually working. So we have a solid blue light. And it should mean that's a two cell battery. So I figured that out and it's, it should start discharging it and we'll discharge it via like basically heat dissipation. Now the um, maximum uh, discharge rate is at one watt. So it's pretty low and it's gonna take a while. So this is like something where you can just basically plug in the battery and just kind of leave it sitting around. And then once it hits that 3.85, volts per cell it will actually stop the discharge process that's why i didn't work on that other battery which is already below 3.85 volts okay so that's going to do it for this video so if you're here for the giveaway if you saw the giveaway in the title uh, the rules for the giveaway will be down in the description i believe it's going to be two of each of these that i'm going to be giving away i forget i'll uh, i'll look it up and then i'll put it down in the uh, video description and uh, i'll have a drawing of course probably about a week and that will be announced on the community page of my channel. So if you're looking for an announcement video, it'll be there on the community page. It won't be in the subscription feed. So look for that and yeah, good luck to you guys. Let me know if you have any questions about this and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.